if your Canon TS9521C is not printing a certain color, prints are faded, or a certain color isn't printing at all, then stay tuned because today I'm gonna to be showing you how to fix that problem. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer repair video. Today we got the Canon TS9521C, and basically, if your print quality is diminished, not able to print a certain color, or none of the colors are able to print, or you have a general print quality issue. Today I'm gonna to show you how to solve that problem with the Best Printers cleaning kit. This is the cleaning kit that I use to fix printers that are having these types of problems. Right off the bat, there will be a link in the description below for this product. The instructions on the box, along with the instructions in this video, should give you a pretty good idea of what you need to do to be able to solve the problem you're having. It's a highly rated product on Amazon with a 95% success rate. If it doesn't work for you, there's a money back guarantee. That is how confident I am in this product. Now, if you find this video helpful, I ask that you like this video. Also, if you want a resource and you want some other videos related to printer repair, printer reviews, uh, topical videos on printers, subscribe to my channel. I want this to be a resource for you when it comes to your printing needs. And I hope that all the information that I provide ends up being helpful to you. If you have any questions at all throughout this video about the process, if you end up using this product and you have some success with it, I'd like to know that as well down in the comment section. Now along with the link for the Best Printers Cleaning Kit, any other products I talk about in this video, there will be a link for in the description below. Alright, that's really all I have for now, so without further ado, let's get right into the repair. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do uh, with this repair is you're going to want to go into your settings. You're going, to, you're going to want to go into maintenance and then you're going to want to print a nozzle check pattern. This is basically going to tell you what colors you have, you're having issues with. You may already know, but this will confirm it. Uh, and also if it doesn't print out at all, you'll know that you have a general print quality issue, which means that none of the colors are printing. And I will advise on what you need to do uh, later on in the video for that. Okay, so if you do have certain colors that aren't printing, all you really would need to do is just mark them off, circle them, and then just keep that page as a reference uh, next to your printer while you're doing this repair. Uh, now you're going to want to lift the top of the printer so that the print head carriage comes to the middle so that you can remove the ink. I will tell you right now that the main reason why this problem happens most of the time is you're running your ink too low and you don't even know it. Sometimes in the settings and the system, it will show you that there is still ink in the ink cartridges when in fact they have run dry. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so that you can buy some remanufactured ink that's gonna be the best option for you. It's gonna be less expensive and it's gonna be just the same as the OEM ink. So what you're gonna to wanna to do now is get a paper towel and you're going to want to fold it up to the point where you're able to place it under the print head carriage. This is going to capture any of the solution uh, that spills or there is dried up ink and solution that will pu push through either way through the print head. Uh, you need to capture that. Here is the best printers cleaning kit. Link in the description below. Go ahead and get yours. And that's really what we're going to be using next. You're going to place your uh, plastic tubing on the syringe. And so now, if you've identified what colors you need to work on primarily, let's say it's cyan, for example, you're going to start off with cyan. And if you have a major problem with that one color, you are going to push the whole 20 milliliters through that nozzle. Now, if you have a problem with all of the nozzles, you're going to want to push 10 milliliters at a time. That's half of the syringe that you're going to push through each color. And then you're going to do that multiple times until the solution is completely used up. You're going to want to use it all up if you have a general print quality issue where no colors are printing. If you have one color that's not printing, push 20 milliliters at a time, focus on those two colors, and you don't have to use all the solution, but use quite a bit. You can run this three, four, you know, up to five times on one color that's giving you a lot of issues. Uh, that's really up to you, uh, but I do recommend doing it multiple times if you have specific colors. And of course, if you're all of the colors, you're going to want to just go, you know, pretty much with all of the solution that you have in the bottle. 
So once you're done, once you're satisfied with the cleaning, you're going to want to clean the area where the solution spilled on the print head and around it. So you're going to want to clean all that up, make sure it's dried, and then you're going to want to replace the old ink with your new ink, whether that's remanufactured or if you went out to the store and got OEM ink. Okay, and once you're done with that, you're going to want to begin the process of uh, reprinting and making sure that you fixed your problem now there's one thing and one very important step so I hope that you're still watching basically you want to make sure that the cleaning you just did worked however you need to push the ink back into the print head when you do this cleaning you have flushed it now to do this you're going to go into the settings and run a print head cleaning I'm not doing this at the moment, I'm printing a nozzle check because I know that I'm clear on this. But when you're having this problem, you are going to need to run a print head cleaning. And you're going to want to run that three to four times. Now, you're going to need that because that's going to push the ink back into the system. And that is where you will be able to start printing normally again. Okay, if for whatever reason this ends up not working out for you, and you're still having issues uh, you may have a faulty print head uh, that is usually not the case that this is usually able to be solved very easily very quickly with this process if you are in fact having the issue uh, that most of these printers have you will be able to solve it with the best printers cleaning kit now also remember that there are many different printer models that this cleaning kit works with it can be HP, uh, another model of Canon, or even Epson, Lexmark, uh, Dell. This cleaning kit can work on uh, many, many different printer models. So if you have another printer uh, or you know someone that has another printer, a uh, different model, this cleaning kit potentially will work with that one as well. Uh, so you can keep this kit save this video as a resource if this happens to you again if this happens to somebody else uh, you will have the information you will have the product that you can use to solve this problem now i hope this video was helpful if it was please make sure to like if you wanted a resource for printer repair uh, reviews unboxing advice subscribe to this youtube channel keep it it is a resource to you uh, so that if you come across a problem again, you can use it. And I hope that that's helpful to you. If you have any questions at all, please make sure to comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time.